Hey, it's Kendrick with Technology Interpreters. And so today I'm gonna to show you how to increase the performance of your Oracle VirtualBox machines. So the first thing you wanna do is click the like button, like the video, and subscribe to the channel for all things cybersecurity, great interviews with people from the cybersecurity industry, great tutorials from hackers themselves. And then don't forget to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash technology underscore interpreters. I'm live just about every single night. Come learn hacking and cybersecurity together with me. Your first step in the process is you want to right click on the virtual machine name, click on settings, it opens up and you want to copy or write down the name of your virtual machine. If it's simple, you can just remember it, number five, but note this, you'll need this for the next step. Once you've done that, by the way, I do need to show you a few things. Make sure you understand exactly what we're adjusting to fix this. So here's your VM under the system category, you have your base memory. I'm just gonna give you a tip here. You may want to say, for instance, I have 16 gig of RAM, I've got my base memory set to 8192. This is to run a Windows VM that I use for malware testing. If you're running Linux, you can do, probably do about four and it runs pretty good. But once again, this is kind of a baseline, not the absolute rule. So if you have eight gig of RAM, maybe you allocate four to your VM, but I'm just telling you Windows runs really nicely at eight. And also with adjusting this setting to 256, this is what I'm gonna help you to do within PowerShell, okay? And by the way, the reason I'm doing this video is because I found a lot of videos to, to do this, but they were all wrong. So I was like, I'm gonna do one that's right. So the first thing you wanna do in the bottom half of the screen here is you wanna to navigate to C colon program files, Oracle virtual box. Here's the thing though, if you click on any of those files, the process is you click, hold down the shift key and right click in the white space and it's supposed to give you an option to open PowerShell. That don't happen. So if you see, if you click on any of the file names or you accidentally right click on the folder name, you'll open PowerShell in that folder. That's not what you wanna do. So I'm gonna go back one level, double click virtual box, and now in the white space, I'm gonna right click and hold down the shift key. And guess what I get it, open PowerShell here. When it opens, you want to verify, and I'm gonna bring this down because you need to see the whole command. I'm gonna verify that it's showing C code and program files Oracle virtual box. You gotta do it in this folder, otherwise you're gonna run into issues. I've already copied this out, so here's the command. I'm gonna paste this in, and it's dot slash vboxmanage.exe space modify space win dev 20 fix, which this, this is just the name of your virtual machine, okay? So make sure you put the name of your virtual machine that you copied right there, dash dash VRAM 256. What most videos do is they put megabytes on this, and I did that a million times, and you get this. It's just giving, it's okay, it's like, okay, that's not the correct syntax. Take the megabytes off, you press enter, and that's all you should get is no feedback. It comes back, it automatically makes the adjustment. So let's say if I run this command, and I took put 128, 125, that's not correct, 128. I'm gonna go back into my Oracle VirtualBox settings, gonna go to display, look at my VRAM, it's 128. All right, so you see it's a pretty instant change. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 256 again. Press enter, go back into Oracle VirtualBox, go to my display and VRAM is 256. So anyway, this is the whole step. I gave you also the, the hiccups because I ran into some problems with even doing my own videos. It's like the eighth time I've shot it. So if this video is helpful, I think you'll find a lot of my other videos helpful, including the pay playlist on Hack the Box. If you've ever thought about becoming a hacker, I'm walking you through from building your VM all the way through getting the first five box hacked that are free on Hack the Box. So please drop a like on this video, sub to the channel, and I hope to see you on Twitch during my live streams. Thanks for watching.